guys, we are on Mission Fenty. We are trying to track down as much Fenty makeup as we can. I woke up super early to come to Sephora in Hollywood and we're gonna see what we can grab. I'm currently questioning my life choices at the moment. Um, a, my throat is still weird. And like, if I'm talking funny, a few of you guys in the comments are like, you sound kind of raspy, you still sick, what's going on? It's just, I don't know, my throat's kind of funny. So I'm gonna be with my tea again. I have been up since 6.45 because today was a special day. I had to track down the new launch from Rihanna, the Fenty Beauty line made its way to Sephora. Everybody's very excited about it. And I have to give a major shout out to Sephora at Hollywood and Highland. Wesley, I freaking love you so much. They arranged this little mini event and you were able to go in and kind of look at the line. And I purchased everything myself, but uh, you know, bright and early guys, we made it happen. So I have everything from the foundation to highlighters. I'm gonna wear the product throughout the day and do check-ins even though it is Monday and I normally don't do that, but you know, for Rihanna, it's like a special day. We're gonna try it all out. We're gonna do, you know, out and about check-ins and then I'm gonna swatch everything that I did pick up because I got quite a bit. I went a little bit crazy. So without me rambling too much more, let's scoot on in and get to the good stuff and apply the makeup. So we are of course gonna start out by priming the face. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. That sounds pretty great. Um, kind of like you're gonna look like a retouched photo. Sign me up for some of that action. My skin could really use it. So this is the bottle. Ooh, that's actually a lot prettier than I thought it would be. Uh, the first thing that I have to say, and I think everybody is noticing this, the color of the lid, the nude color is almost identical to the KKW Beauty. So the packaging is different, but it does have that same kind of a vibe. What do you guys think? Do you think like this looks like it could be an extension of the Kim Kardashian West line, just saying. You get a little over an ounce in here for $34. Comes out like this. Feels actually quite liquidy. It's not very thick. Has a soft kind of floral scent to it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on as my primer. And this is supposed to smooth everything out. Looking at the ingredients, this has a lot of dimethicone, a lot of smoothing ingredients. It's almost thickening up on the face and getting drier. I picked up five of the foundations. Obviously not all of these match me and I will be donating, but I wanted to pick up the deepest shade, the lightest shade, um, a few that would match me and then one kind of uh, a little bit deeper, but not quite the deepest, just to show you the wide range and how drastic the colors are in this collection. That is something that I think is incredible. Look at that. What launch has this extreme of a color range? I think that is incredible. Rihanna has said that she's going to expand and add more shades. I think it was a little upsetting in my opinion to see so many people going really hard on the brand saying there weren't enough shades, there weren't enough deep shades. 40 shades to come out with right away I think is huge for any brand starting out. So I love it, I love it. This is said to be a soft matte long wear foundation. Of course, we're gonna see how long wear it truly is because I'm gonna wear it all day long and let you guys know. And this is buildable. It's a medium to full coverage, comes in a pump. Gotta love that. Similar bottle to the primer. And we're just gonna take a couple of pumps. I'm using the shade 260. It's a very liquidy foundation. It's not thick. Now, one of the Sephora employees was telling me, do not over powder, don't use a mattifying primer underneath this if you have even the slightest bit of dry skin because apparently this is more than just like a demi matte, like it will suck the life out of your skin. I'm gonna layer it up a little bit on my hormonal breakout situation. This is not bad, you guys. I actually really, I enjoy the finish of it. I wanna try it with my Clarisonic brush, wherever that ran off to. 
time out, why do I still have like a fleck of glitter from Model's Own? It, I have showered, I have washed my hair, I've washed my face plenty of times. Where did that even come from? Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I prefer the Clarisonic for this product. It is ultra matte, so it starts out very liquidy, but it almost goes to a powder pretty quickly, and I feel like this spreads it out in such a thin way where you're not using a lot of product that I do prefer this, and then it did help me getting around the nose. So this is a lot more matte than I expected. It's actually all the way matte. Like, it's this is matte. If you have oily skin, you are gonna love this because it is very matte. I'm gonna pop on a little concealer really quick. I have been playing around with this All Hours Concealer from YSL, and I haven't liked any other concealer aside from my beloved Shape Tape, so it's kind of exciting that I'm into this so much. I have the shade 40PA. I don't understand shade names. The foundation looks really, really pretty, but it is on my skin, which is a little bit combo to dry. Like I can see lines over here that honestly I normally don't see. So that's a little bit of a bummer and it is settling in these lines as well. Now, if you have combo or oily skin, I think the formula and the way it blends out is gonna be great for you, but I am having some kind of issues already, sadly. So we're just gonna continue on. I did pick up this kit right here. This is the Matchstick Trio. This is a conceal, contour, and highlight. And I didn't wanna use the concealer because swatching it in the store, the texture for me, I just know my skin and how things crease. Anything that has any bit of waxiness to it underneath my eyes just slides around, patches off, and creases really terribly. So I'm not gonna use that, but I still wanted to get the trio and kind of play around with it. It's really cool that they have magnetic little snappies here. I think that's really neat. So just to show you guys, this is the medium kit. I have the matte skin stick in bamboo. That's this right here, which you could use as concealer. It comes with more of a blushy little number right here. This is called Trippin'. And then we have the contour. Now I was torn between getting this kit and the lighter kit, but the lighter kit was so gray undertoned that I just felt like it would look a little bit harsh on me. And the difference between this and say the KKW contour sticks, I mean A, you get a lot more product. B, it is way more opaque. The KKW is very sheer and very natural. I can tell this is gonna be more of an intense type of a contour. So I'm gonna go for it though. We're doing this. I cannot tell whether I love or hate this. My face looks so powdery and quite dry, but my hope is that as I wear this throughout the day, it just kind of balances out. But looking in the mirror right now, I just feel like dryness and texture is kind of exaggerated on my forehead. And the contour stick blended out okay on the cheeks not that great on the forehead. And to be honest, I probably won't use it again. That's just that's just me being like first impressions, keeping it 100% real. Let me see, is this like blush or hot? I'm effing confused right now. I think they do sell all of these shades separately as well, so you don't have to buy that little kit. I do wanna try this out. This is the Starstruck Shimmer Strip. Now this swatched on my hand in the store. I was like, oh my God. Like, I love it. This is a cream stick highlighter, but it, again, I don't know. I didn't think you guys would see that ugly hair clip. <laughs> I didn't think that this would be so powdery. Why is this so powdery? It looks really nice on the skin, though. All right, the highlighter is nice. It's not making me do backflips. I feel like a piece of crap for not loving more of this. I literally am kind of blown away that I'm a little, mm, mm I really thought everything would be knocking it out of the park for me, but so far it's a little so-so. I mean, there are so many nice things about this range and that there is such a great color range, like that's the big standout to me. Um, shoot. All right, let's try out some of the powder. This is the Instant Refresh On The Go Filter Effect. This is a blotting powder. Oh, it comes with like a little, this guy. 
So this is more for touch-ups. Um, I am gonna set the face with it, but I also will do touch-ups throughout the day. Not that there's much shine to take down because this foundation is so matte already, but I'm just gonna kind of hit my T-zone, hit underneath the eyes to prevent any creasing. Then we'll see if we need to use this throughout the day. If I get shiny at all, we will bust this puppy back out and get rid of the shine. I also have a gloss to try out. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is a universal lip luminizer. It is supposed to look great on everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a whirl. This is what she looks like. Really cute packaging. Giant doe foot applicator. I actually kind of like that. Smells a little bit tropical. Ooh, it's very gel-like. That is really pretty and really shiny, but not gloppy. Okay, this I love. The highlighter actually is pretty cute. Okay, I'm really excited to try out the powder highlighter duos and I got a bunch of those. So what I'm gonna do now is finish off my eyes and I will be back to play with the highlighter some more. I got two of the duo highlighters. These are said to be long lasting. They are creamy and uh, they're called the Kilowatt Freestyler Highlighting Duo. Packaging is super cute, very sleek, and again, uh, most of them are duos. There is one called Trophy Wife that we are gonna get to in a moment that is just like gold, metallic sparkle, something so, so different. Um, but I did wanna pick up, you know, some more basic everyday highlighters to wear as well. This duo right here is the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Duo. I also have the Girl Next Door and Chic Freak Duo. This one almost looks like it would be a really pretty blush on me. So I'm gonna kind of use this one as a blush and then highlight with this guy over here here, so let's just try that out. I'm gonna go in first to this guy, and I'm gonna take the mild side first. And just pop that right, okay, that's not mild. That's pretty insane, actually. Everybody's been freaking out about the highlighters, and I'm kind of understanding. Let's top it with a little bit of the more glimmery side. Um, okay, that looks like an edited photo on Instagram, right? Look at that, are you kidding me? That is bananas. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. I'm loving this. All right, this highlighter is incredible. So far, my favorite thing that I have tried out is this right here. The second favorite thing is this gloss. Oh my gosh, loving, loving, loving. All right, we're gonna take a blush brush and we are just gonna kind of go on the apples of the cheeks. I know this is gonna be shiny. We're gonna have kind of a high shine day. Okay, yeah, that's more of a blush topper. I don't know what I'm thinking trying to use it as a blush, but it was a nice idea. All right, so what I wanted to show you also, this is like, the star of the show. This is the thing I think that everybody is seeing online and is going, oh my gosh, that's too good to be true. Like, does it really look like that? What is that? And this is called Trophy Wife. Look at how beautiful that pan is. Okay, I'm just gonna do a first swatch. She feels good. Very smooth, it has no tug or pull on it which is really interesting. Usually these more metallic shades, you know, that's where you see people kind of pressing a little bit. And it's because that, ooh, that even did like two swatches with one swipe, crazy. Um, you need a little pressure to make that metallic texture kind of stay put on the skin. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think that makes a shadow bad, but this is really interesting that it's just very, just smooth. It's just smooth. Ooh, that is so beautiful. Now, for me, I don't know that I'm gonna be highlighting my face with this, but I would definitely wear this on the eyes, and I just wanted to play around with the texture and be able to show you guys this. So again, this is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wife. So here's the scoop. I am gonna wear this makeup all day. I'm gonna do check-ins for you guys. We're gonna see what the deal is with this foundation. I'm gonna use that mattifying powder on the go if by some off chance I need it, because I just feel like this foundation is not gonna move anywhere. It is locked in tight. And we will resume from there. Look at this foundation, it's still matte. It's 
been about six hours. I just picked up some potential dupes from Elf, met some amazing subscribers that happen to work in the store, uh, and now I'm going to Pottery Barn to look at pumpkins. I'll do another check-in soon. All right guys, it's 10 o'clock at night. This foundation has been on my face for a solid 12 hours. That's kind of unbelievable. It is very long wearing. I got back home, I cleaned my kitchen, decorated my home. I'm like very prepared for fall at the moment. Do you like my fall decorations? Yeah, they're beautiful. You did a great I job. Know, right? Okay, back to the makeup. The foundation, if you have dry skin, stay far away from this foundation. It will exaggerate dryness. It will exaggerate any crinkliness on your skin, any lines. But on the good side, it did minimize my pores. It gave good coverage and it felt really nice on the skin. Like it loosened up when it warmed up with my own natural oils and it wore a really long time. Now the highlighters, I have to say I like the powder more than the cream and the sticks all together. I just, you know, they're cute. They're magnetized. They click together. I think the packaging is really, really fantastic, but the product itself is so difficult to blend. I would not recommend those at all. Lip gloss, A+. Plus. The highlighters, the powders, oh my gosh, I think they're beautiful. They didn't wear as long as I expected them to. Like halfway through the day, they started really wearing off. And what you see right here is kind of a little bit oiliness, not bad, but you can't like see that like bam highlight. And as mentioned, I probably wouldn't go so hard with the highlight as I did when I was putting on my makeup in front of the ring light. Anyway, the primer, mm, not for me, just not for me. Everyone says it's, you know, so revolutionary and sticky. To me, it just was very much like dimethicone and I don't know, I, maybe I'll try it again, but it didn't like knock my socks off. So there we have it. That is my first try wearing the products all day long of Fenty Beauty. What do you guys think? Are you excited about this brand? Let me know in the comments. I did pick up the sponge and a couple of the tools and I don't know like what I was thinking that I didn't try them out. So if you want me to try them out and maybe an OMG, let me know as well. And other than that, you're James, he keeps he keeps pausing the TV and it plays. You didn't even tell me how my makeup was today. I told you so many times off camera how beautiful you looked. But you didn't tell them. <laughs> okay, no, no, you can go away. I don't know. Awesome. No. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you so much, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.